The bonk, dude? <laughs> I forgot about the bonk. Welcome back to Ever This Movie Ever. My name is Justin. I'm watching Ever This Movie Ever. Today I'm going to talk about Hans Brinker or The Silver Skates. Hans Brinker or The Silver Skates is a 1962 television release. It is about a boy named Hans who must take over care for his family when his dad suffers a head injury all the while while trying to find a cure for his dad. It is written and directed by Norman Foster, cinematography by Lars G. Bjorn and Gunnar Fischer. Editing by Jack Atwood and music by Oliver Wallace. It is based on a book of the same name by Mary Mapes Dodge. Shall we compare? Hans and his sister Gretel dream of skating in the big ice skate race. Mrs. Brinker, Hans, and Gretel almost work to support the family after Mr. Brinker suffers a head injury, leaving him chronically ill. Hans meets Dr. Boekman, who could perform a surgery that could help Mr. Brinker. After begging, Dr. Boekman agrees to see Mr. Brinker and decides he could be saved from the surgery, but it's expensive and they are poor. Hans buys Gretel a pair of skates for the race, and when he raises enough money to buy his own, he gives the money to the doctor for the surgery. Dr. Boekman is touched by this and does the surgery for free, letting Hans by his skates. Hans sacrifices his opportunity to win to let a friend win, but Gretel does win her race. Mr. Brinker is cured, as is Dr. Boekman when Mr. Brinker can reunite him with his son. The Brinker's fortune changes when Mr. Brinker's savings is miraculously found. The Brinker parents live happily, Hans becomes a doctor, and Gretel lives happily as well. The end. I'm really sorry. The film stars Ronnie, Roni, Zeander as Hans, Karen Rossby as Gretel, Eric Strandmark as Mr. Brinker, Inga Londgree as Mrs. Bringer, and Ganilla Jelf as Hilda. Standout scene or sequence, by far and away is the dream sequence. My gosh, the experimental lighting, the animated snowflakes in this sequence, so insane, so standout for a 1962 television release. Are we kidding? And then for a 1962 television release, the quality I had was mad decent considering it's probably been recorded on a VHS and then digitized and I got it on DVD like crazy. Standout standard sequence again is the dream sequence for editing as well. So well done. Literally, I was shocked to be witnessing that in a 1962 television release about a kid trying to save his dad. Like, oh, so good. And I'm still shook by like the little snowflake animated effects that they did. Unheard of, like at that time I feel like. They didn't really do that. This is very different than the book. Um, in many ways, I feel like. First, Hans wants to be an artist and he definitely does not become a doctor. Um, he doesn't, him and his sister don't dream of ice skating they end up wanting to ice skate in the big race to try and win the prize to help their father pay for this surgery he doesn't meet the doctor randomly he goes to the doctor after being told that um his dad should see a brain doctor uh he does beg the doctor and the doctor says you know i could probably help him with the surgery but it's risky and then as far as the skating as well the sister does not win, and Hans doesn't win to let someone else win. Hans doesn't win because he saved someone who fell through the ice. Also, he tries to catch a thief, and he does catch a thief and gets reward money, and that's how he's able to buy the skates for himself. His sister gets her skates as a gift from Hilda's family. So it's all kind of these like minuscule pieces were shifted and moved around. However, the main point of like, they have to work to help support their family while they try to figure out what's going on with their dad is still the main point. Um, I really liked that they made Hans an artist that kind of added a very sweet quality to it. it he, he touched some people through his art. Um, and then I also think the art was stunning that they did have in the, in the movie. And then I loved Hilda. Hilda's not really mentioned in the book summary, um, but I thought Hilda was a great addition. She was really fun and I thought she was great. Um, the race, this ice skating race, they briefly mentioned is t 
26 miles, bro? I had to have misheard that. There's no way. If so, that's insane. Like, actually insane. No way. Um, and as I mentioned in the previous video that I did this week, this movie has more women and they're treated better than the women in the wild. So, yeah. My favorite part is, I have two. When the doctor takes the painting off the wall as his payment for the surgery instead of actually being paid. And then when Hilda's dad realizes how good of a person Hans is and that he should actually be proud that Hilda's interested in Hans. I love those two scenes very much. My least favorite part is probably the scene where the dad gets injured because they 100% like it's something he falls into the water and then a giant wooden post falls on his head and they use like an actual like bonk a bonk like a thunk like like a cartoon bonk it made me laugh so hard and was stupid <laughs> so, especially for the rest of this movie being so good um so that's my least favorite part but like that's hard to you know that's fine i would absolutely recommend this absolutely uh you can watch this on youtube um so get out there this is great i thought this was very good and then I would watch it again if someone wanted to watch it, but I don't know if I would just be like sitting one day and be like, I really wanna watch a movie, what do I wanna watch? I'm gonna watch Hans Brinker. I don't think I would do that, but I do um, like it. And if someone wanted to watch it, I would absolutely watch it with them. Also, now is my moment. I wanna thank the person who sent this to me from England all those years ago. I cannot remember your name for the life of me. I think it starts with an A. But all those years ago, many years ago, soon after I started Every Disney Movie Ever, I was using a different email address for like contact on my YouTube. And that email address is no longer like in service because it was with a website that I no longer have and stuff like that. So I can't go back and look because I kept the communication in there. Um, I can't go back and look at the, those because it's got the website that it, the email was based on is gone it is no longer so i can't go look at the emails that were supported there so you understand so this person sent me multiple old disney movies on dvd that had been like missed and not on my list um this uh ride a northbound horse um and some others um that i will eventually be coming up on here soon they sent them to me from England for free just because they were like, I love the project you're doing. I have these copies that were released in England or that I was able to have access to in England that were never released in America. I'd love to send them to you. And that was like the first, they were the first person to do something like that for me. It was so insane. Um, and I, I've been sitting on the movies until I was able to cover them. And so I just want to send like the biggest thank you and shout out in an actual video. Um, to that person. Uh, thank you so much for that was like the first time and it was so early I feel like uh, that someone like reached out and was like hey I have these movies I'd love to get them to you um, and that's just so beautiful. I'm so touched when anyone wants to do that. I feel like it's such a beautiful community of trying to like let people get you know the movies they need and stuff like that and I just I'm really appreciative. Uh, these have been sitting on my desk. They went from California with me to here. They've been sitting on my desk until the day I finally get to them. And it's starting and I'm so excited. The movie overall, I uh, really love it. Oh, specific moments that stood out to me. Uh, the injury, the painting of Hilda being gifted to the family, the nice artist men, the dream sequence, the reward for catching the thief, saving the kid that fell in the lake, the operation working and Hilda's family coming around. The whole movie, honestly, is so good. Um, I also read the dad said God created Earth, but the Dutch created Holland. Took me out and then he told the story about how like they dug all these things up to get the water out of how like and I was like, Okay, like go off. That's amazing. Um The bonk at the injury is too much, I can't deal with that. And then uh just overall this was really good and I would definitely recommend it. Um I had a great time. I thought it was super entertaining, especially, you know, when around this time they were like hit or miss, but 
I loved finding hidden gems back when I was watching all these movies I hadn't seen, and this by far and away would have been one, 100%. That's it, that's everything I have. My final rating is six skates, but like old school tie on to your shoes skates, out of 10. Our total movie count is. Parent Dental and Crack Count are still the same. If you want to keep up with the movie I want you win, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. You'll find out what movie I want you win. I put out videos every Monday and Friday and sometimes Wednesday. Join Patreon. I got a tier starting at just $1. You get every video a week early and a coupon code for merch. A tier above that is $5. You get daily trivia, community chat access, um, a coupon code for merch, all this stuff. All, everything. Go, not everything, but go over there. Tiers above that, bonus content, monthly podcast, weekly videos all over and forget in my mind, etc. Buy merch. You can't buy this anymore because uh, it was limited edition, but there's plenty of other choices. Please go take a gander. Until next time, comment, like, subscribe, and I'm not in charge of your life. You are, so do you, and don't be... The, like, antagonist of this movie kind of came around, so... Um, spread love and kindness. Have courage and be kind. As I finger gun. I did a lot of talking and my throat is tired. All right, baby boo. Let's get out of here. <laughs>